Picnic is a beautiful play by one of the great American playwrights, William Inge, possibly his best play. I think Inge's time has really come. He writes just exquisite, heartbreaking, beautiful, romantic, lovely plays. I think Picnic is one of them. It's being directed by one of the finest young directors in New York, Sam Gold, and I think he's gonna do a magnificent production. The Roundabout's really an artistic home for me, and I've uh, been working here for a few years, and uh, it's, a, it's a great community, and the play that we're doing is a real family play, a real community play, so it feels like the perfect home. William Inge was a playwright from the Midwest. He grew up in Kansas, and most of his earlier work takes place in Kansas, in areas very much like where he grew up. And he was huge in the 1950s. He was this playwright who won the Pulitzer Prize for a picnic. He had three major hit plays on Broadway in a row, and then he sort of fell out of favor. With Picnic, you're dealing with uh, a small rural town in Kansas, and you're dealing with a bunch of people who it's, it's a very mannered society. This is a little bit of every woman, and I say woman because it's pretty much a, <laughs> a female play, uh, and it looks at these different women um, in such a compassionate way. There's uh, myself, Flo, her two daughters, Rosemary, and her two friends, seven women, and uh, it's all quite calm when we find them at the beginning, but, but Hal inserts this shot of heavy masculinity into this um, feminine arena, and that stirs everything up and, and gets everything going. I think it's important that we honor these playwrights that are just at, at the root of it all real sort of American playwrights. Um, and William Inge was in that incredible generation. It's been really interesting um, in finding the ways that we keep true to the original production, but also Inge was, was uh, quite demonstrably never happy with any of the productions, so we're kind of finding that, that happy balance, ways to make it readily relatable to a modern audience. And, uh, and ways to find perhaps the, the moments of what Inge considered realistic. It's a play that is about morality. It's about mortality. It's about that time in life early and later when you make those choices of, am I living for myself, the pursuit of my own joy, and or desires, which are not necessarily the same thing? Or am I living for what others need of me and expect of me? It's an opportunity to really see uh, a very true uh, depiction of life mid-century in America. It's uh, uh, the backyard between two houses in Kansas in late 1940s and it, that's pretty much what it is. So we've tried to make a pretty, uh, for the most part, a pretty clear sense of the architectural logic of two houses and their shared common space in their backyard, where the streets are, where the alley might be. And then we've, we've messed with that a little bit, um, and particularly to bring in the agricultural or industrial life of this particular Midwestern environment. And we've found ways to incorporate that in the set, so it's not strictly just this, uh, two backyards. It's been uh, really unique and crazy being in rehearsal with um, you know, multiple generations of actors, of people who I've known for years and years and worked with many times, people who I've, I've known their work since I was a kid, people who I'm just getting to meet, and, and all of them coming together, caring about each other, uh, affecting each other, inspiring each other. Um, it's been a really special room in that, and I, you know, I, I give the, cre the play a lot of credit for uh, you know, bringing a family together and it sort of brought us together in the same way the play does. I'm really happy um, that we're able to do this play at a, a place like Roundabout because um, we're able to, I feel like, do the play the right way where we're worrying more about the artistic integrity of the piece rather than, you know, other factors. So it's, it's a great place to be doing a play like Picnic. If it weren't for theaters like the Roundabout, 
this great American playwright would be lost. If you're a serious theater lover and you're interested in American culture, you need to see these plays. You need to see Picnic. It's a classic American piece, and as a theater goer, it's, it's what I want to go see.